Justa Ekman and Ingrid Bergman in Intermezzo, the film that launched her international career Ingrid Bergman was a multilingual. Academy Award-winning actress born in Stockholm, conversant in Swedish, German, English, Italian, and French. She had been preparing for an acting career all her life. After her mother Frida died when she was three years old, she was raised by her father Justice Samuel Bergman, a professional photographer who encouraged her to pose and act in front of the camera. As a young woman, she was shy, taller than the average women of her generation, and somewhat overweight. Acting allowed her to transcend these constraints, enabling her to transform herself into a character. She first appeared as an uncredited extra in the film Landscamp and was accepted into the Royal Dramatic Theatre of Stockholm as a scholarship student in 1933. She appeared in a dozen films in Sweden before being offered work in the American film industry. The movie that both she and historian cite as launching her international career was Intermezzo in which she shared the lead opposite Justa Ekman. It brought her to the attention of producer David O. Selznick, who purchased the rights to the story and cast her as the female lead in the American version, Intermezzo, a love story, with British actor Leslie Howard taking over the male lead. Bergman signed a three-picture contract with the German production company Ofa GmbH, intending to launch her career in German films. In the end, she only acted in the comedy The Four Companions, directed by Karl Froelich. At the time of filming, she was pregnant with daughter Pia Lindstrom by her first husband, physician Petter Lindstrom, and performed with her abdomen bound. Following her daughter's birth, she made the Swedish film June Night and three American films, Adam Had Four Sons, Rage in Heaven, and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Bergman made over 40 films in her career, many of them for American producers and directors. In the early stages of making the World War II romantic drama Casablanca, she and her co-stars Humphrey Bogart and Paul Henry thought it would be an insignificant film, and all three wanted out of their commitments to the production. The script was a work in progress, with director Michael Curtis in frequent conflict with the writers and with producer Halby Wallace. The actors and Curtis were crafting the characters and storyline as they went along. After its release, the film struck a chord with wartime audiences. It was nominated for eight Academy Awards, winning in the categories of Best Picture, Best Director, and Best Screenplay. For decades afterwards, there were special screenings and retrospectives of the film, often with Bergman as a guest speaker. She had attended so many events for the film, being asked the same questions over and over, that she once remarked, When I die, I hope they won't show it again. Alfred Hitchcock directed her in three films, Spellbound, Notorious, and Under Capricorn. Impressed by Italian director Roberto Rossellini's films Rome, Open City and Paisa, she wrote to him offering her services as an actress. Together, they would make Stromboli, Europa 51, Siamo Dunn, Journey to Italy, and Joan of Arc at the Stake. Her off-screen relationship with Rossellini ended her marriage to Lindstrom, and produced out of wedlock son Renato Roberto Rinaldo Giusto Giuseppe Rossellini. She and Lindstrom divorced in 1950, and she married Rossellini. After the 1952 births of their twin daughters Isota Ingrid and Isabella, she and Rossellini divorced. Hitchcock had remained her lifelong friend, and told her, he ruined your career. Bergman married for a final time in 1958, to Swedish film producer Lars Schmidt. He produced her works of 24 Hours in a Woman's Life, The Human Voice, and Hedda Gobbler. They divorced in 1975. Someone, I don't remember who, a woman, told me you can't have it all, especially a woman can't have it all. Well, I did. I had it all, even if I did muddle some of it. Sometimes I hurt myself. That's the way life is. I took the risks. Happiness is good health and a bad memory. Ingrid Bergman, she was the recipient of numerous global nominations and awards for her work, including three Academy Awards. In the category of Best Actress, she won for Gaslight and Anastasia. For Murder on the Orient Express, she was named Best Supporting Actress. She appeared multiple times on the American stage. In the pre-television era, she was a prolific guest on radio programs. Bergman received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame on February 8, 1960. A woman called Goldo on American television earned her the 1982 Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Miniseries or a Movie. When asked to play Israeli Prime Minister Golda Meir, Bergman doubted that the audience would accept her a tall Swedish Protestant in the part. But producer Jean Corman and director Alan Gibson believed that on screen she generated the same feeling of public trust as did Mayer. She was in the last stages of her battle with breast cancer when shooting commenced, 
making her uninsurable for the production, but all concerned believe the project was worth the risk. The film premiered on American television on April 26, 1982. Four months later, Bergman died on her birthday. Her daughter Pia accepted the Emmy Award on her behalf. Ingrid Bergman at age 14 Ingrid Bergman in the Count of Monk's Bridge lobby poster, Spencer Tracy and Ingrid Bergman in Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde lobby poster for Casablanca, Ingrid Bergman in Gaslight Cary Grant, Bergman, and Alfred Hitchcock. Filming Notorious Bergman on the cover of Swedish magazine film Drenlin Ingrid Berman and actor Josi Graber in A Woman Called Golda Ingrid Bergman and Burgess Meredith in Lilium Ingrid Bergman in The Constant Wife. Thanks for watching.